We want a garden that is safe for Noah to play in. Noah spends his whole life with me standing behind him, guiding him. It would just be so nice to have somewhere where it's outside where he can just grow in confidence. Are there any specific things that you think he needs? Noah's got hearing loss, so we were hoping to make an area where some grasses, where when you brush through yeah. it, it encourages him to listen to the sounds. We'd like him to have plants that he can feel and touch, and even if that's like from a furry leaf to soft fruits, where it's something he can just pick and eat. If you want to maximise all the senses, the sound of water is lovely and almost essential. Could we not introduce some kind of running water, dripping water, fountain that was completely child-friendly and safe? I mean, I can see somewhere where I think it might work well. Do tell, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think on the back of that wall there. It would be interesting because you'd have to sort of discover it. Exactly. But before he heads off, Monty joins a team of friends and family to get the site clear. Well, we should take this down, shouldn't we? Christ, it's already so much bigger, isn't it? Cutting it back has made it seem easier to do. This is great. What's Noah going to think when he comes home? He's going to grab a rake. <laughs> <laughs> Monty has made quite an impression on the gang. Very yeah. impressive. Yeah, yeah. Impressive. really yeah. good, yeah. With his saw. Yeah, big hands. I thought he was just going to be standing around giving us instructions, but... Yeah, but yeah, he, we he really got stuck, stuck in. in didn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. At the moment, I'm just a bit shocked about how much it's all been hacked back, and it looks quite a bit more daunting now. It's always good fun, clearing a garden. There's a sense of actually getting to grips, literally getting to grips and clearing away the old so you can bring in the new. But that is just the beginning, and everything from now on in, right up until the planting, is going to be more tricky. Since Monty's last trip to Finden, Josh and Emma have listened to his advice too. Josh just absolutely stinks. Yeah, I know. So the new theory is, I believe, that you have to stake an agonal towards the wind. But I haven't got a sledgehammer. If you hold it like that, yeah. then I'm going to whack it with the spade. <laughs> it's lucky I trust you. Yeah, if you hold it like that... Oh, my God. Mind your... F <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Wait. 